Hello again. Well, thanks very much, Laurie. My YouTube friend, Laurie Sims is the name, sorry, Laurie Symes is the name of her channel. And uh, on a recent video of hers, she gave me an idea that I want to try, just an experiment, for um, doing a blow dryer swipe from the inside out circle type one and then popping a bottle bottom into the middle of that to make a flower and then take it from there and see what else I can do. So my colours I'm using for the outer edge are going to be um, Viridian Green, Lime Green and Antique Gold and my colours for my centre flower are going to be Orange with some Iridescent added coral and antique white so I will start by making I've, I've already put titanium white paint down as my base and I'm then going to put um, I'm now going to make the circle and use my dryer first I'm going to try instead of using my dryer I'm going to try using my toy my little mini leaf blower because it'll have a gentler push from the center out Looking good. It's a type of pattern that I wanted. I'll just smudgy this up a little more because I do want, I don't want quite such defined lines over it. I want a little more of, you know, of the smudginess that is created by using a hairdryer. Okay, now to put in my bottle bottom. So I'm just going to pop it down here in the middle of the white. Make sure it gets well anchored into place. And now I'm going to start pouring my colours for my centre flower. Okay, well I walked away for a little while just to allow it to settle and now I'm just going to lift this bottle bottom very carefully, there we go, and I'm going to use my spatula 
to bring the colour in from the petals to the centre. I'm going to have to try and decide exactly how I'm going to work this because I really want to put paper napkin down but with the edge the way it is I'm not quite sure how well that will work so I'm looking at possibly putting some paper napkin just around there which would be very interesting to remove but I'm going to see what I can do. This is all experimental for me. I have cut myself a smaller piece of hand towel, paper hand towel, and I am going to pop it into the centre, like so, of my picture here, just like that. And I have got my water here, my spray mist bottle of water, and I'm going to just spray the paper towel gently. To dampen it before I lift it from the picture. I think that's probably enough. I know I can go overboard. Goodness me. So I'll just get my piece of plastic so that I can lift this piece of paper towel which is sat on there beautifully. Um, I'm just going to get my tweezers and hope that I can use those with my fingers to lift the towel as cleanly as possible, starting of course with each of the outer edges. Not quite what I expected but it's all experimental so I'm going to just give it a quick um, torch now I want to move this up towards the center a little so I'm going to just take these in with my spatula until I can make more of a defined center for this to turn it into the flower that I want it to be And well, the last thing I'm going to do, I'll just give it another torch as there are bubbles popping through everywhere. Now I am just going to give it a gentle tilt just to take it, see if I can take it out a little further.
well I have to say I am very happy with that that has just turned out a lot better than I have ever expected it to um, I'd have to work a little more on the smudginess of the white around the edges uh, possibly make the center a little smaller so that the flower merges well into the green background but for an experiment I don't think I have done too badly I'm really pleased with that so that's it for me for this video once again thank you very much for joining me and I'll see you next time